Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing My Hero Academia 5-inch McFarlane Todoroki. Before we look at the figure itself, let's look at the packaging. Got My Hero Academia on the packaging. Funimation, 6 plus. And I guess somewhere in there, there's the uh, name of the figure. Let's see if I can get it to go flat so you can see the name of the figure on the packaging. Fussy thing. Fussy, fussy, fussy piece of paper. And it says Todoroki, sorry, Todoroki Shoto, or whatever it, it, it's pronounced. I'm pretty bad at pronouncing it, but I know him as Todoroki. Here we got a product shot of Todoroki with his fists raised up high. And there's a collect them all sort of thing on the packaging. And more information, Facebook and all that, McFarlane Toys. But that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's show off our first figure from the My Hero Academia 5-inch line. And this is Todoroki. And he looks pretty cool for a 5-inch. He doesn't have any bend at the knee. It's a 5-inch figure. It's not going to have any bend at the knee. Arms can go up that far. On the hinge joint, I don't think this one has a hinge joint. No, it doesn't. Would have been a nice if they had it, but they don't. Give me a minute while I turn off that pesky timer. Sorry. My work timer going off, even though I don't work today. But yeah, a good looking figure... Head is on a ball joint, but a very tight ball joint. A really good figure. Really well sculpted, really well painted. I do like this figure. But now for comparison. Here is Todoroki Shoto next to his age, not age of heroes, but loyal subjects comparant. Loyal subjects variant. And they look good together. Sorry if I had to correct myself. I had, my tongue was tied for a second. But yeah, are these figures worth picking up? If you're a My Hero Academia anime fan? Yes, these are worth the money. I got this for about 10 bucks on sale. And that's why this figure is worth adding to your collection. Would I recommend this figure? Yes, if you can't pick up the McFarlane posable one, this guy ain't bad for $10. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.